رمضان رمضان شهر القرآن هدى لنا السلام عليكم Welcome back to Ramadan Talks where we talk about topics inside and outside of Ramadan Now we talked before about knowledge how as Muslims it's important to gain knowledge but how do we actually do it and just to make sure we're all on the same page here. Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yes, talab ul-ilm, seeking knowledge, is a holy thing in Islam. It's uh, uh, especially knowledge, whether it's religious knowledge, sacred knowledge, or knowledge of dunya, such as science and all of this, if they are meant with good intention to serve humanity, to do service, khidmah, to humanity. Knowledge, as Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, talab ul-ilm faridatun ala kulli muslim. Knowledge is obligatory on every Muslim. So seeking knowledge is part of who you are. The very first word of the very first verse of the Quran is Iqra. The Prophet was instructed to read, to recite. And reading leads you to knowledge. And uh, as you know, they say uh, a people who cannot read cannot lead. The Prophet yes, was illiterate. He could write and read. But that doesn't mean that he could read in a way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him read without, you know, seeing the letters or writing books because he could read from the revelation, he could recite, and he was very knowledgeable. And he gave us knowledge. He's the source of our knowledge because he received it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, revelation, and the wisdom Allah gave him with his mannerism, and he developed good relations with people even before he became prophet. A wealth of knowledge, and as he said, we prophets, we don't live you know, uh, gold and silver, dirham wala dinar, but we leave knowledge. Knowledge is the best thing a person could leave for his children. Many of us think, how much am I going to leave for my children? What do I need to write on the will? How am I going to split my wealth and assets? But very few think of leaving knowledge. Knowledge of Allah, knowledge of the reality of this life, knowledge of the self. Last time we spoke about different ways to, to, to deal with knowledge and how we can translate that in real life from Ramadan to real life. And that's how we benefit from Ramadan because thereby we correct our intentions. So uh, it's, it's very sad, Brother Max, to see that we're not anymore people who seek knowledge. I could tell 20 years ago I had so many people interested in reading, borrowing books, looking into this and that. Internet has really uh, taken away the passion for reading, for going to library, for taking that time a read book. Um, you go to many Muslim countries, many people, you don't see them holding the book. Yes, they read the Quran because they want the reward, which is good. Still there is good, but I don't see as much as I see, for instance, when you go to Asia or here in North America, you see people holding books, uh, reading books, and they say reading is, they have the passion and the pleasure. Passion and the pleasure of reading. And if we, you know, just, just I was laughing earlier uh, because I couldn't hold myself. But just this is a recent expo in, in, in one of the <laughs> Muslim Arabic countries. And, 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 and I'm not here trying to demean, but this is our reality. We're part of the Ummah and we feel like sad. Look, look at this, this uh, report. It says that in this uh, book uh, exhibition, they sold 3,500 burgers. 2,000 sandwiches, shawarma sandwiches, 1,500, you know, uh, chips and snacks, 6,000 soda drink, like a soft drink, and 2,000 cups of coffee, and only 16 books in, 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 a, in, in a book exhibition. And, and I, I mean, you, you, you laugh and cry, and this is the reality. Uh, not too long ago, I went to a, a big, a large expo, and people, and actually, instead of, you know, focusing on the books and what's being read or written, because books they show you what's the ethos, how people are thinking, the new ideas, you know, they conquer the world, and these books actually are translated. Many books that you see, you think they are just novels and stories, they become movies and they change minds. A lot of people neglect or underestimate the value of ideas and and this is what's happening just taking a step back you know at a, at a book exhibition only 16 books 
and thousands of drink and food. What does that tell us as a society? Maybe this, th these numbers are exaggerated, but I know for a fact that they would sell burgers and chips and shawarmas and drinks more than books. This is the reality. Because it tells us that we're concerned about our stomach more than our brain. It tells us that we are not carriers of ideas. We uh, uh, underestimate and undervalue, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the importance of knowledge. Uh, when was the last time somebody told you to borrow a book or gave you a book as a gift? Not anymore. I mean, the gift cards these days, okay, go Amazon, Walmart, whatever company to buy things. I mean, it's fine, but people just want to buy clothes because that's how they are showing themselves uh, in society. Nothing wrong with that, but that's the concern. Uh, perfumes, you know, cosmetics. There's more money spent on cosmetics than any, any uh, you know, uh, aspect of knowledge or learning. If we keep going down this road, where would we end up? We, we look into the prophecy of Prophet ﷺ. He said the following. He said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not take knowledge like snatching it away from people, but by the death of people who know. Until there will be a generation of people who don't know. They don't have knowledge and they don't appreciate knowledge. So people at that time, they will take uh, people to teach them who are, who have no knowledge. The Prophet called them juhala, meaning very ignorant. And they will follow them and they will misguide them and will misguide themselves and misguide them. So this is basically the prophecy. So that's why he said, learn knowledge. And, and, and knowledge, again, I, I, it has to be coupled with wisdom. Knowledge is like medicine. You don't just buy medicine without prescription. You need medicine with the application. A lot of people talk about, oh, I read this hadith. Yeah, but did, was it explained to you? So medicine, you don't just go buy medicine and gobble up syrup and this. You need to get prescription because knowledge has to be, you know, administered in a way that is scientific. Similarly, knowledge of religion, whatever knowledge has to be administered, has to be with wisdom. And from it, you learn with experience, you gain wisdom. You know what works for you and what doesn't work. Even medicine itself, it works for some people. It may not work for some others. Some people need maybe two pills. You only need one pill. That's how knowledge, but it's essential. So isn't Ramadan an opportunity to acquire some knowledge? In my humble experience, especially in the last post-COVID, people are not interested anymore in knowledge or learning. They rather pray taraweeh because it has reward in Ramadan. When there is someone giving a speech and explaining the verses, you see people leaving or talking. Um, we have less and less interest in knowledge. I'm not pessimistic, optimistic with reservation, but very, very few who really want to learn what is being read or recited. It, people just like um, saturated somehow. Um, nobody's really interested. Halaqas are dying. Um, people want just instant things on Instagram. Uh, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, there is a, you know, uh, attention deficit uh, problem. Uh, it's really alarming. And I don't, I'm not an expert in, in, in psychology, but can uh, share with you some alarming numbers that people don't read because they don't want to read. They don't have interest to listen. Everybody wants to know what they want to know. I mean, it's not like but what they need to know. It's about what they want to know. And there's a big difference between need and want. May Allah subhanahu wa keep the love of knowledge in our hearts and value it not to only have things that we want, but things that we need. And for the viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to leave your comments down below. And until next time, assalamu alaikum.